right, here's a little video to help you with the F chord transition. F is a pretty tough chord. Uh, really, this is like the true F chord. Uh, we gotta cover up all the strings with our finger. But there's a way to cheat for us to just play this part of the chord. I think it sounds nicer, it's a lot easier to play. Um, some people, I'll show you two different ways to play it, but I, I think you should learn the way that I play it because I think it's a lot easier. So how I kind of build the F chord is I usually start with my C chord. Right? Then I'm going to move, first move my middle finger down to the floor, one string. Okay? Now that string is open, right? No, no fingers on that string. So now I'm going to fill that string in with my pinky finger. Right? And then... My pointer finger is going to have to go flat and kind of play these top two strings at the same time. So one more time. From the C chord, I'm going to lift up my, my middle, my pinky goes down, and then my pointer goes flat. Notice that I don't play this low string for either one of those chords. C, I'm going to start on the A string. And then for F, I'm going to also start on the A string. That's a cool transition to practice right there. Just C to F. C, then to F. Then back to C. All right? If you also wanted to make it a little bit easier for you, sometimes people move this finger down like that, and then you can only play the top four strings because there's nothing on that string anymore. But I kind of don't really like that because you, you're jumping around a lot. This one kind of sounds nicer, saves me a little bit of energy, right? But if, you, if, if you're really having a lot of trouble, then move everything down and play those top four strings. So let's do it one more time. I'll play it for you uh, a little bit, but this, this is something that you should be doing on your own. Ready? Uh, C eight times. F eight times. One, two, ready, C chord. C, two. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. You might get a little tired because your hand now has to, what we call bar, two notes together. Your, your finger kind of becomes like a bar that you put down, right? Like a metal bar. But this is like a mini bar. We're just going to do that. <laughs> We're just going to do it on the top two, right? So if we wanted to build it one finger at a time, like we were trying to do in the lesson, one and two, down there. Middle, uh, middle finger on the next string up, the third string, the G string. And then these two fingers go down in the third fret. Your ring finger's higher than your pinky finger, right? All right, make sure that your thumb is on the back. There's a nice little... Window there, right? You're not gripping it with your hand because that puts a little too much unnecessary uh, muscle tension where we don't want it. All right. So in the song that we're working on, "Take Me Home, Country Roads," uh, for the bridge, it's going to be two beats on the first two chords and then four beats on the on the third chord of the line. So I'm going to play it for you. The first line is E twice and then G four times one two three four the second line C twice then G twice then D four times then E minor twice then getting into that F shape right E minor to F back to C for four times because C to F, F to C is a really nice transition. All right, I'll do that line one more time from the E minor. E, F, and then C. And then D for eight. So I'm going to 
sing that uh, b that bridge now for you, nice and slow like this. One, two, three, four. I hear her voice in the morning hour. She calls me. The radio reminds me of my home far away. That's really all I want you to work on this week. The F chord is a pretty important chord. It, use, uh, it gets used a lot, uh, especially if you're in C. You got C, F, and G all the time. Um, a lot of cool bluegrass songs that I know from, in the G chord. Hopefully that helps. If you have any questions, please email me. Thank you.